All right. So I was talking about uh, you know the the strap being used for the purpose of uh, you know in you know keeping the jaw intact. For example, if you are a student or someone who has driven motorbike, many many motorbike accidents involve jaw jaw injury, right? It happens to you. Now, how do you ensure that the jaw is you know maintained at the same position? Uh, doctors, especially you know orthopedicians would use something called as jaw strap to keep the position of the jaw intact. So in this numerical, you see our objective is that we want to provide a five Newton force up in the upward direction to the jaw. And if you see the strap being worn is making an angle of 30 degree on either side, or you can say the overall jaw angle is 60 degree. The jaw angle could be 75 degree, but I have taken the example of uh, you know, 60 degree for ease of calculation. So this is an example where jaw is being, you know, jaw is broken and we are wearing a strap. The strap has tension inside it. We know the angle. We will solve this problem of providing upward force of 5 Newtons in the next video. Thank you. All right, so let's proceed forward and uh, solve this numerical. Now, you can see the direction of tension is at an angle of 30 degree on either side. It's a single strap, therefore the tension on both the sides is T and uh, the angle on either side with respect to vertical line is 30 degrees. Now, we will apply our, and our what is our goal? Our goal is to provide a five Newton force in the upward direction, okay? Now, if you, try and do components of this tension, you will find that the strap has two forces which are upwards. The components are T cos 30 respectively. So upward uh, uh, component of the tension is 2T cos 30. And if you see, there is another component of the tension which is T sin 30 on both the sides. But the T sin 30 component, which is in fact you know, getting cancelled, makes no difference. So what is providing the jaw support is 2T cos 30. Put 2T cos 30, which is what we need, the upward force equal to 5. You find the tension in the strap we have to provide so that the jaw remains intact and is you know, sufficiently capable of providing the tension of or a force of 5 Newtons in the upward direction to the jaw. All right, so let's discuss this uh, physics problem. Before I you know go about solving this, let's understand what this is all about. Now on the right hand side, you see physics in medicine. So mind you, physics is not being done, you know, just because we are solving some numericals and learning some laws. There is a clear cut purpose behind learning these numericals. These are used in real life situations. Now, for example, you know, there is a man who has a snoring problem. A person has, you know, a jaw injury. In many cases, you have to wear a chin strap or a jaw strap. You can see, you know, I've shown a strap being worn on the human face. And the purpose of wearing the strap, I told you, could be, you know, avoid snoring. It could be, you know, take care of the jaw injury. In this case, the focus is on jaw injury. So we will discuss this further. But I think the mood point should be clear to you that physics questions are not being done because you know, you have to demonstrate some mathematical genius or physics genius, but because these are used in engineering and medicine. So this is an example of how physics gets used in medicine. Thank you.